Welcome to another episode of the 100 point challenge in NBA 2K14. So far it's been a great week for the challenge. We started it off with Jeremy Lin, Lin Sanity, we brought it back, and then Gerald Green, and after Green it was Isaiah Thomas, and it's time to keep that success going with Chandler Parsons, the starting small forward for the Houston Rockets. Now Parsons is a 77 overall in 2K14, and he has an 82 three-point shot. So I'm going to primarily be shooting threes with Parsons this entire game. Hopefully he is on fire like Isaiah Thomas was last game. In fact, last game, I set my record for most three-pointers made with a single player. Isaiah Thomas dropped 22 three-pointers. Maybe, maybe I can beat that with Chandler Parsons. I don't know. Thomas was going out of his mind from downtown last game. And hey, so far, I mean, look at that. So far, the Spurs are just sagging off him at the three-point line. I thought my opponent was going to rage quit real quick. Oh, no, sir. My opponent hopefully is in it for the long haul. And look at this. Bellinelli. Bellinelli's guarding me? No, sir. Oh, there's one spin move. Make it two. Double spin move in the post. Hey, Parsons is six foot nine. He can get it done from inside and out. And I'll tell you what, if Bellinelli is going to be guarding Parsons this whole game, man, he is in trouble. The Spurs are in trouble. I mean, who matches up with Parsons on the Spurs? I'd say Danny Green is too small. Bellinelli can't play defense. Boris Diaw is too chunky. Oh! And Chandler Parsons throws down the reverse on Tony Parker. 30 points, but we're making that 33 with the three-pointer to end the first quarter. Now for Parsons, he has some signature skills of catch and shoot and corner specialist. So hopefully I can run the point with Jeremy Lin, find Chandler Parsons spotting up in the corner for the wide open three, or maybe I can just get the defensive rebound and chuck it up to Parsons and we're up by 20 on the Spurs, and there's Lin Sanity, my guy. Oh, he dropped 100 this week. Now let's see if his teammate can do it. Ashik to Parsons, who's guarding him? Oh, oh, Danny Green with the flop. That was nice. Adam Silver, that's 5,000 bucks from Danny Green. Another long pass, and Corey Joseph. Yeah, that's Corey Joseph trying to guard Chandler Parsons. Oh, but Lin Sanity, the inside pass. What a play. The baseline cut from Chandler Parsons. Nice drive right on Matt Bonner. That gives me 49 points with a minute to go in the second quarter. Right there, 51 points. We're well on pace. And where's the paint defense for the Spurs? Look at the lineup that they have right now. It's Boris Diaw and Matt Bonner playing the 4 and the 5 for San Antonio. In terms of rim protection, that's as bad as it gets. He needs to have Duncan and Splitter in the game at the same time if he has any hope of stopping Parsons inside. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Chandler Parsons posterizes Tim Duncan. Yo, this dude cannot be stopped right now. 62 points, five minutes to go in the third, and I'm still just driving to the lane. I thought I was gonna be hitting threes like crazy, but when the paint's wide open, might as well just drive it in and get some layups. So I have a 20 point lead on the Spurs and look at Linsanity, he just picked his pocket. Oh my gosh, Joseph had his back turned to Parsons as I just shot that three pointer. I mean the Spurs are just so confused, look at Boris Diaw, the behind the back dribble, I just shook him. Oh, oh no, Joseph just went for the block on James Harden, as if my opponent doesn't realize that Parsons has 76 points and he's the only one scoring. Harden had a wide open layup and he still went for the block. Uh, I don't think he re I don't think he realizes that Parsons has scored all of my points cuz he's still trying to guard everyone else. But hey, if Bellinelli's on him, I told you guys, Bellinelli can't guard Chandler Parsons. Another steal. That gives me 84 points. We still got some time in the third quarter. Oh, my stamina is completely shot, but I'm hitting the transition 3. So we have 88 points, but it's the fourth quarter now. We're 12 points away. The spin move. The lane was wide open. Tim Duncan, man, I think he's too old for this. He needs to wake up and stop this man. An easy drive. That gives me 93 points. Still plenty of time. 
Now my record for most points in a game, I just set it with Isaiah Thomas at 112. I'm thinking we have some time to break that. So 113 is the goal with Parsons, and we have just under three minutes to accomplish that. The wide open mid-range shot from Parsons gives me 97. The lane's wide open again, and who do I see on the floor? It's Matt Bonner and Boris Diaw, Chandler Parsons' best friend for this game, and he's wide open on the wing. The three-pointer is good, and the 100-point challenge is complete. We have 102 with still a minute to go. Danny Green left him wide open in the corner. That's 105. Dwight Howard with the steal. Parsons, the transition three, top of the key. That's 108. We still have time. Danny Green's trying to guard him. No. Drive right by him for the dunk. That's 110. Oh, get the steal. Come on, Oshik. Get it back to Parsons. Make something happen. Oh, get the ball. Come on. Dunk it on him. That ties my record, 112 points. Let's see if we can get one more bat. Oh man, it is too easy. It's too easy for Chandler Parsons. That's 114, last possession of the game. I'm launching a bomb. No, that one's no good, but that's it. It's over. I set my new record, 114 points. Three rebounds, two steals for the Jordan player of the game. Now let's take a look at this box score. How about that? James Harden had 14 assists. Dwight Howard had 7 assists. But there's Parsons, 45 for 72 shooting, 10 for 21 three-pointers.